Hello and hi there and welcome. Here we are back at the Kelly Center in Havertown, Pennsylvania. Thank you for coming out tonight for a couple of wonderful performances. My name is Paul Kelly from Kelly Music for Life, one of the many Kellys that are uh, roaming around the room this evening. A great night of live music tonight uh, from Matt Duke as well as Peaks, Pammy Cobal. Thank you to the families and friends that have uh, come out tonight to help support them. Kelly Music for Life's mission is to support the arts and so we thank you for supporting us. This evening we have complimentary drinks in the back. There's beer, there's wine, there's seltzer, there's water, there's coffee. JJ, our volunteer bartender this evening, please say hello and smile at him while you're in the room. <laughs> Restrooms are back here to my left. Uh, it is a listening room, so we ask you to please silence your cell phones. And if you are using the restrooms this evening, use the towels because the dryers make too much noise while the performers are up here doing their craft. So again, thank you for being here tonight. Your MC for this evening, please give it up for Amanda. <laughs> All right, hello. Welcome to the audience here and streaming at home. I am Amanda. We are live at the Kelly Center in Havertown, PA. We are live streaming on the Kelly Center YouTube and Facebook pages, so tell your friends that they can tune in and donate. Kelly Music for Life is a 501c3 nonprofit organization whose mission is to promote music, the arts, and community. If you are watching online, please buy virtual tickets to support our artists. We suggest $10 or more. Your online contributions also help sustain the Kelly Center. You can now use Venmo to donate. Venmo at Kelly for Music, that's the number four, under the business tab. And you can also use PayPal or credit card. Just go to kellycenter.org and click contribute. I'm very excited about our first performer tonight. Well, actually, both performers tonight. Uh, I'm a very big fan. So she has performed on our stage numerous times, first with the Haverford High School Theater Group, then as a soloist, and most recently as a finalist in the Star Vocal Competition. She will be performing on the big stage in two weeks at our Haverford First Fest Music Festival. Please welcome to the Kelly Center stage in Havertown, Pennsylvania, Peaks. Thank you. Hi, guys. Um, I got a little set list for you. I got some originals and some covers, and I'm excited to get into it. Um, my first song is an original song. It's called Somewhere in Mexico, and uh, if you know it, clap along. Here we go. Goes. 
after a man that's really a disaster I know exactly where this goes and it goes like somewhere in Mexico or he'll catch a plane to Chicago or he'll drag it down to New Orleans until he gets what he needs and now I'm going back home feeling blue and thinking of what he took from you and wishing you listened when all the girls said they wish he was dead na 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 i'm chasing after i'm chase chasing after chasing after a boy i'm chasing after i'm chase chasing after chasing after a boy and i know he goes somewhere in mexico or he'll catch a plane to chicago or he'll drag you down to new orleans until he gets what he needs but no more going home and feeling blue and certainly no more thinking of you i'm wishing i listened when all the girls said they wish he was dead na 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 thank you that was one of my first songs that I ever shared with anyone. I posted it on YouTube. It was like my first original. It was a big deal. So I hold that one close to my heart. Um, the next song I was reminded of because I have a bunch of college, uh, a bunch of students that are going to college. Um, they're not my students. They're my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bunch of friends going to college. Um, and one of my friends texted me and was like, I was thinking of your song, 17. So it reminded me of it. And... Um, Thought I'd play it, so I think my friends over here can relate, and hopefully you guys can, can relate to it, too. So, this is 17. It's Saturday night, and I got nowhere to be. We could stay for a little while, we could find something on TV. My mama says I'm not home anymore, I used to care, but now I'm not sure. There's still an hour left in the movie that we're playing. I'm feeling selfish cause I'm out here having fun. I'm 17, so I don't care about anyone. What if I come home late and sleep through the sun? I'm having the time of my life at 17, and I'm not done. got no money in my pocket if i did you know that i'd drop it on silly things that i don't even really need i'm not afraid of letting go i want to know what the future holds i'm getting by through tarot cards and reading my horoscope every night but I got some big plans. I want to travel all over this land. Dressing like a gypsy, feeling lost, but it's no biggie. Cause I'm feeling selfish, cause I'm out here having fun. But I'm 17, so I don't care about any. Having the time of my life at 17, and I'm not done. These are the years I'll never get back. And even now, there's things that I lack. No regrets to be had. Looking back, feeling glad because. 
I was selfish, I went out to have fun. I was 17 and I didn't care about anyone. What if I come home late and sleep through the sun? I'm having the time of my life at 17 and I'm not done. song is a cover. Um, this is Girl Crush by Little Big Town, and uh, I really enjoy this song, so I hope you guys enjoy it as well. So here goes. I got a girl crush. Hey, to admit it, but I got a heart rush. Ain't slowing down, and I got it real bad. Want everything she has. That smile and that midnight laugh, she's giving you now. But I wanna taste her lips, yeah, 'cause they taste like you. I wanna drown myself. Bottle of her perfume. I want her long blonde hair. I want her magic touch. Yeah, cause it may be then you want me just as much. But I got a girl crush. I got a girl. I don't get no sleep. I don't get no peace thinking about her under your bed sheets. The way that she's whispering, the way that she's pulling you in. Lord knows I've tried, can't get her off my mind. But I wanna take. Yeah, cause they taste like you And I want to drown myself In a bottle of her perfume I want her long blonde hair I want her magic touch Yeah, cause maybe then You'd want me just as much But I got a girl crush to admit it, but I got a heart rush and it ain't slowing down. Thank you. Um, all right. Okay. I have a few um, new original songs that I haven't really shared, kind of shared, not really. Um, and this next one is one I recently wrote. It's called Big Guy. And it's a song I wrote to the universe or the big guy in the sky and just the questions that we have. Because it's so easy to feel like you're the only one or like you're lost or something or like you're not on the right path. But this song, I think everyone can relate to or maybe I hope you don't, I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> It's also not finished. Wish I 
I could listen to you, buddy. Wish I didn't find things so funny. Wish I didn't laugh through your lessons all the time. Wish I could stop time to keep on going. Wish all my fallings were overflowing. Well, there I go being greedy again. Not sure if my story's set in stone, big guy. Will you let me know? How am I supposed to feel through it all? Cause I fear the things that keep me guessing, but I still see it as a blessing. I promise, I promise you. Ooh, but I'm getting by, baby. Ooh, well, half of the time, maybe. Ooh, and the other half ain't too bad. He says if it's meant to last, it's gonna last. If it's meant to pass, that shit gon' pass. If you've been feeling like you're made of glass, I was looking at the world through a window in the shape of your silhouette. You write the story, this world's gonna get Big guy, we're just on a floating rock And I got myself some writer's block Not really sure where I want this to go And big guy, when one chapter ends Do I get an intermission? Is there a character that I'm so greatly missing? And I'll never claim to be your saint And if there's a best, you know it ain't me But I'm just trying, I'm just trying to But ooh, well I'm getting by, baby Ooh Half of the time, maybe Ooh, and the other half ain't too bad He says if it's meant to last, it's gonna last If it's meant to pass, that shit gonna pass If you've been feeling like you're made of glass I was looking at the world through a window In the shape of your silhouette And you write the story this world's gonna get Thank you. That's big guy. Um, yeah, I shared a little bit of that on TikTok somewhere. You can follow me on TikTok. Um, uh, this next song is one I just wrote very recently. Um, and I think it's finished, but there's always room for improvement. And um, this song is about the phrase, I've never felt like this before. I've just never felt like this before. Because I feel like everyone overuses that word or that phrase until you like actually feel it. So this is what it's about. <laughs> steps and a dinner table ready and set I pictured myself there it wasn't hard to I just hope that's something you get then I laid in your bed and got a little too used to the feeling it left tried sleeping in my own but all I could feel was so cold Well, I don't usually get like this Not sure what kind of spell this is I just hope you know That I've been a little unlucky Cause I've been confused in love with these temporary fixes And I know sometimes you don't believe but must be a sign from up above Cause I no longer feel so unlucky in love Played house in my head Just feeling like a grown little girl again I'm sorry that I stare 
But could you fall for some hazel browns? And I don't usually get like this. Not sure what kind of spell this is. I just hope you know that I've been a little unlucky cause I've been confused in love with these temporary fixes and I know sometimes you don't believe but it must be a sign from up above cause I no longer feel so unlucky in love about to dive head first into this and baby you can wipe my slate clean and if this isn't what you want then maybe let me know and then I'll slow and calm down but I've been a little unlucky cause I've been confused in love with these temporary fixes and must be a sign from up above cause I no longer when you sit down for to write it's like you just want to write something but you can't so you kind of just like get like little ideas out but and sometimes it a song just kind of writes itself and that's kind of how that one felt for me um yeah thanks <laughs> uh this next song is a peaks at the kelly center classic it's uh jolene i i feel like i haven't performed it in a while so uh i wanted to bring it back so Yes. Thank you. Here, yes. Uh, all right. Here is Jolene. So uh, I'm moving on 
to, I think, my last song now. Um, uh, thank you so much, Mom. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I just want to say before I go to my um, next song, thank you so much to the Kelly Center for everything. And if you have the means to, if you have it in you to donate, please do. It's for wonderful causes. And I'm very excited to hear Matt. Um, so we're going to do... I get a sip of water. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, I have a prepared one. A prepared one. Uh, good. Okay, so this is, make sure I'm on the right, there we go. Um, I performed this last time I was here and uh, just really enjoyed it. This is Iris by the Goo Goo Dolls. Woo! And Yay! That's the dance. All right, here we go. Okay. over the past couple years and all of her performances with us and I feel like not I feel like she does get better every single time she's here so that's really exciting and that's what we're about here at the Kelly Center you know fostering young talent and watching them blossom and I think one day we're gonna see her be famous yes <laughs> Thank you. and we can say that we we saw her here first all right, so just a reminder, um, before our next performer, we have beer, wine, seltzer, water, and coffee in the back there with JJ, donations appreciated. This is also, of course, the New Avenue Cafe, 
They're now open every day at 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., and they employ individuals with different abilities. They give free live acoustic music every Saturday and Sunday morning from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Our artist of the month for August is Dan Cavalieri, so you might want to look around at the little gallery here and his beautiful artwork. We have an event calendar, so you can see all of the exciting uh, events that we have coming up at kellycenter.org. Funding for the Kelly Center is provided by Green Mountain Energy Sun Club, Haverford Township Civic Council, the Radio Agency, JMC Fund, and the Connolly Foundation. To support with a tax-deductible contribution, contact us at kellycenter.org. Uh, you may notice a man with a camera there. That is Joel Perlish, our house photographer. You can see photos from all of our events on the photo link on our website. And, of course, he has his assistant, Brian, with him as well. We have a newsletter that you can sign up for at kellycenter.org and scroll to the bottom of the page, and that way you're kept in the loop about everything going on here. Okay, it is time for our next performer. He is a Philadelphia singer-songwriter who grew up in South Jersey but now calls Delaware County home. His music has been featured on WXPN Radio and many other stations. He is currently working on a project with frequent collaborator Dan Dane Klein, and he will be donating 50% of the net proceeds from this event to St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. Yes, Let's give a round of applause for that. That's wonderful. Please welcome to the Kelly Center stage in Havertown, Pennsylvania, Matt Duke. This is what I look like during the Teams meetings. When I can pull down my mask. Just so you know. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, huge round of applause for Peaks, by the way. I'll save the chit chat. I'm just going to start playing. Our backs, then we'll just simply be. So kiss me on his sweet. Listen, I've been to your world. 
Malintent with ignorance, and it's all so absurd. Worthless, yet you're worth it all the same. Ooh, and I'm starving myself. Man is bound in shackles between heaven and hell. Whether it's worth dying for is too soon to tell. Bloody mouth, and I'm screaming out her name. awful place for you I believe though every drop was such a waste and now oh sweet thing bombs away and I'll say to you I leave a box upon this awful place for you I bleed heat there's nothing left when you're bred contempt in your shit sound to the rats and the killers so far gone oh oh now holy father i've been my tongue but your good words turning saints into sinners you're so far gone mm, under this tree we grew roots and branches, captain, hold of our leaves. They would turn through the seasons and they would fall to the feet. But the children that came after us in the spring, in the spring, oh, now, oh, sweet thing, bombs away. And I Hold me, darling, just a little while. 
I held her close, I kissed her our last kiss. I'll never forget that love I'd miss. Well, now she's gone, even though I hold her tight. I lost my love, my life that night. Oh, where, oh, where can my baby be? The Lord took her away from me. She's gone to heaven, so I've got to be good. So I can see my baby where I leave this world. songs that they sound so happy. <laughs> they are not. <laughs> I was playing, uh, what was it? My buddy and I keep sending music to each other and he sent me this album that came out in 2008 by this band called The Reign of Kindo. I had never heard of it before. And they're like really great instrumentalists and really, really good vocals. And there's this great song on it called Breathe Again. I'm listening to it with my daughter, and we're, we're kind of, it's not a big rock out song, it's just it sounds very sweet, super sweet song. And then I realize, as I'm finally listening to the lyrics, that it's totally all about killing the Grinch and getting rid of the body in the river. <laughs> and I was like, man, this is so dark, this is great. <laughs> this is really good. Um, and the kids were happy again once he brought the presents home. So it does end happily, kind of. Maybe. Um, so I don't get out. I don't get out much to play. So this is a real pleasure for me. Um, huge, huge thank you to the Kelly Center for for having us here, for doing this safely. For yeah. Um, and if you guys are going to go back, grab some complimentary drinks. There is a uh, a donation box bin for the Kelly Center. So please uh, be generous if you can. Um, Places like this are truly a treasure in towns like this, in areas like this. So um, your support is kind of how, how this happens. Um, anyway, I do want to say again, Peaks was awesome. So it was very, 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 yeah. Um, 17 is a jam. Um, and you're right, that, will, that time will disappear. <clears throat> and then you'll be miserable like me. I'm not miserable. Um, but yeah, a good choice of Iris. You know, it's really funny. It's like, I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, I went to go see them, because I know how old you are, because you told me. And you were definitely years away from being born when I saw them perform that live. So I'm happy to see that it's <laughs> it still transcends um, birth, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I was like, oh, man. <laughs> um, those are the things, like you listen to 102.9 MGK, and they played, uh, what did they play the other day? I think they played a Pearl Jam song, and they're just like, through the classic rock. I'm just like, oh, screw you. <laughs> Traveling east on the interstate On a pittance for fast food 
diet and some toothpaste. I could remedy alone, getting drunk, getting stoned, and I'm back to my good old ways. Open arms at the bar for the prodigal son who often goes astray. Cause for now, the waking world can wait for oh, oh. Sing your blues away, oh, and hope for better days. And pick an old song, man, we'll dance in the dark. It's that needle and thread. Stitch up my broken heart. I keep in, I black out, I bottle up until I pick a fight. Then I raise a bloody fist and I salute as every passerby. For the lawman's sake, I won't bend and I won't break that part I leave for lovers and life. They say it's my right to keep quiet or reserve it for some other time. So now, waking world can wait. Oh, oh, sing your blues. Oh, 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 for better days And pick an old song Then we'll dance in the dark It's that needle in the red Sits in my broken heart Oh, so cuff me up, take me in I could sleep an hour or two Just to me, the pros, the criminals We'll sing it loud with nothing to lose Oh Lord, the music saved my soul, now nothing's right. The rock and roll for now, the waking world can wait. Oh, oh, sing your blues away, oh, oh, and hope for better days. And pick an old song, then we'll dance in the dark, it's that needle in the red. Thank you. That's a song about being on the road. Um, I'm very lucky that I got to tour and get support from family and friends for as long as I did. Um, see some really cool places. And uh, this country is very big. It's a very big place. Um, but yeah, now my second chapter, I guess, is I've, I'm a nurse now, so now I'm a nurse, which is awesome. Thank you. And I love every second of it. What's up? No hospital yet. Um, I'll go back to the floor in the next, like, two months, but I work home health care, and I'm a clinical supervisor, so I have a lot of pediatric patients. I see them every week. I uh, work throughout the weekend, so it's kind of an all-the-time thing, which has been great. Um, thank you very much for that. Um, yeah, it's a, you know, I feel for, for families trying to navigate things uh, in the healthcare system and stuff like that. It's tough. It's tough for a lot of people, especially now. So, but with that said, by you being here, you have donated to St. Jude's just by being here. So that's awesome. So thank you. Uh, to those who are watching online, too, if you don't mind making a donation, that would be great. Um, and then otherwise, I'm trying to think of what else I want to say. Nothing. I'm just going to keep playing. Is that cool?
What's that? Oh, thank you. Um, I do have to say again, because now Iris is like stuck in my head. <laughs> that seems awesome. I got, in, I mean, I've got in fights with friends about that song because that's a that's a top five song for me. And I listen to some weird stuff too. Like I'm one of those like, you know, hipster. Like we'll sit down, and listen to vinyls, and I can tell you it's just like, oh, well, you know, their back catalog is like, blah, blah. but dude, Iris is a jam, straight up. That song is awesome. But it's taken me back to playing in coffee shops back in the day, and I was like recalling all of these old songs that I used to play, like as covers that I loved. So I might pull those out tonight because I just, it's been so long. It's been so long. So I'll do an original and I'll roll into a cover. I'll just keep doing that kind of stuff. That's fun.
Cause you in trouble? I'm gonna call. That's I'm not gonna do that. That's a good one. I think one of my favorite things about my my daughter's turning eight in about ten days, and. Um, one of my favorite things about her as she's gotten older is her sort of coming into full consciousness, you know, because she's eight, so she, we have great conversations. We do. She's super freaking smart and um, love talking to her about stuff. And she was telling me the other day, she remembered something I had said about how energy can neither be created nor destroyed. And, uh, you know, we were talking, it was the anniversary of the death of, of one of my best friends. And, you know, oh, it's his birthday, actually. So, and, and I was just like, you know, we're going to go visit his mom, and, and this is, you know, this will be a really good thing. It's kind of a sad day, but it's a good day or whatever. She said, well, you know, he's still, like, here, though. And I was just like, well, what do you mean? She's like, well, it's like you told me. Like, energy can neither be created nor destroyed, right? I was like, man, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, so she's good at being able to, like, compre like, comprehension skills, as, like, teachers would say, I suppose. So she's... So great that, but I bought her because I'm and I'm I'm a like metal you know punk emo kid at heart because that's all the stuff I listen to like post hardcore stuff whatever. Anyway, so they do those rockaby lullaby CDs and these I say CDs sorry digital songs, um, <laughs> but I had bought I had bought her forty fives <laughs> yeah. I love it. It's just like, oh my gosh, have you seen this? It's like, it's a vinyl. Have you seen it? It's just like, yeah, they had that back in the freaking 60s, man. Like, Edison invented that crap, practically. <laughs> Mary had a little lamb. I mean, we all knew it. Um, but I, ha I bought this tool lullaby CD when she was like maybe 10 months old. And I just, I play it every night. And she's almost eight. And I, I, as soon as I walk in the door, when she's going to sleep, I turn it on, 11 tracks. Like, it's got. 
and she doesn't know the titles of the song because I have the CD in my possession. <laughs> but like, you know, it gets through prison sex and sober and like all these songs. But they're not sung, they're just played with glockenspiels, so it sounds really pretty. <laughs> and, uh, so we're in the car and I'm playing Tool's album Lateralis because there's no curse words on it, so I can play that one. Um, <laughs> but we're listening. Which is so that comes on, and she's in the back. She goes like, oh, my dad, it's my lullaby song. Turn it up. I was like, yeah, we're doing this. She's like, what's it called again? The Grudge. She's like, turn it up. I was like, yeah. <laughs> She likes the Tool one, she likes the Deftones one. She doesn't like the Mastodon one. I don't know why. I can't. I was leaning, looking over through the water to the bottom of a wishing well. Take a change, rearrange your fate, it'll say the God's easy to sell. Open arms or the choirs were singing, hallelujah, all the bells are ringing. How'd you ever let me down? Oh, you have to pay. I was asking all the wrong kind of questions, man, the pen has been my knuckles bleed. Contrition is akin to attrition with a conscience only guilt can feed. Dumbfounded by the flagellation, a useful idiot celebration. Christ, I think we're going down. Fine. 
This is your last time I'm fine This isn't me, I need time Just time to please just go away I play pretend I'm not a step behind Steady, no rhythm, I broke it, died But it'll be fine If I can last the night Where's my wine? And I just need a little something to calm me down When you're When you're not around Man The room started spinning Spinning now I've got this cure All in my hand I could trip a little bit Then walk a straight line Cause I will walk again I could use a hand couldn't keep it together, man You, you just couldn't keep it together Remember when the days would pass Without a glass of bad decision Don't mix religion, do you remember? Cause I can't, as if it gets better I just need a little something to calm me down When you're not When you're not falling down the wall, not dug it deep, and you would never know the ground beneath my feet is given out of compromise and more than just my spirit. I'm so very tired. I hear. Just need a little something to calm me down. Oh, when you're not around, I just need a little something to calm me down. Thanks. Yeah, you guys are the suckers. They're at home <laughs> telling me what to play. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, you know, it's funny. I thought about playing this one, and oh man, we'll see if I can do it. Crap. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think? Because I'm. Is it the Wiggles or Barney? <laughs> yeah, it's the Aquabats doing Yo Gabba Gabba. No, we're not doing that. Um, oh my god, that was another thing. I saw like a Nickelodeon, like I was reading The Ringer, they were doing a, like a Nickelodeon Best of 64 like series kind of thing. Like who's the best Nick character? Like half of them I don't know. Of course they won because all you millennial idiots like voting for Spongebob. What the hell is that about? <laughs> like Ren and Stimpy, Rocco. Doug, Rocco's mom, like... Rocco. Whatever. <laughs> it's just very disappointing. Like, who the hell is Carly? Luna? Like, what the hell is it called? I Carly. I Carly. Yeah, what the? How do I know? Because it was written on a 
no, piece of paper. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You'll never have those iCarly days ever again. We get old. (laughs) 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 I don't think I can. (laughs) Here's the I know. I'm like. No, I've got Iris being sung as that in my head. That's how catchy that is. No, it's great. <laughs> I was like, I was debating also coming up here and like singing as like a bunch of different people. And my daughter loves Rolf when he sings. And uh, but that that one takes the cake though. Well, you're amazing. You can sing whatever you want. Nah, I'll try. Well, now I've got to do this because there's people online and they'll write hate mail if I don't do this. Oh. I know who this is. These two. <laughs> Jeff and Erica. Of course. They go way back to when I played like a hookah bar, in fact. That was weird. <laughs> and then, what's up? Were you at that one? Oh my gosh. It's different times. Um, no. That's true. I bet you they did. And I'm going to, I will play this one for them and for my buddy Chris, who's here too. Because I know he would, he would probably have asked me for this too. Since it's three against one, I'll try it. But I'm not going to remember the words. Um, okay. Whew, here we go. Somebody look up the lyrics. Whoever did this, if you can write that on a piece of paper, they can look up the lyrics. What's that? You looking it up? We'll figure it out together. I'll do this one in the meantime, and then we'll figure that one out. What's that? Cat Stevens. You can probably throw that in somewhere. Eyes bathe in the candlelight Where's that voice that keeps you up at night? She messed around with your feng shui and She echoes almost every word you say Whatever you want from me Oh please, so what do you want from me? Do it if you leave me alone
Let me know what it is and we can work it out, so Rose. Right on your bones. Let me know what it is that you've been so hung up about. Thank you. Did you find lyrics for the minder? Did you find them? All right, while I'm looking at these, it's my song, and I don't know it. <laughs> no, not that one. I'll look it up. I'll tell you guys a joke, and I'll tell you a story while I'm looking this up. The joke I can't help you with, but... So did you guys ever hear the one about the astronaut and the cosmonaut? So, ooh. so there was an astronaut and cosmonaut who went into a bar. And they're sitting at the bar together. And the cosmonaut goes, we will be the first people to go into space. And the astronaut looks at him and goes, oh, man. Guess what? We're going to be the first people to land on the moon. And the cosmonaut goes, oh, yeah? But we will be the first people to land on the sun. And the astronaut's like, how in God's name are you going to do that? And the cosmonaut says, we will go at night. <laughs> so that last song, Rose, that I was just singing about was when um, I was doing, um, but sir, first of all, if any of you have a Ouija board, just bury it somewhere. Because those things are bad news. They're for real, and they're bad news. We used to go, uh, me and Sephora, we used to go ghost hunting all the time. Um, loved it. Like, it was just, if we couldn't uh, s score alcohol or do anything like that, then the only other thing really to do is to go look for ghosts, because maybe they could buy some for us. Um, but we went to some pretty cool places, but there was these people who lived in Westchester, and in their house, they were claiming a bunch of things were happening. Um, like. First of all, their laundry, like when they would do their laundry, would get all messed up and thrown around the room. Pieces of furniture would be moved into different places. Uh, and then they said there was a girl who lived there, and they said, we swear it sounds like her voice calling to us, but she's never home. Like, and so it's weird. So we know you guys are into ghost hunting, so why don't you come over? We've got this really cool Ouija board. And we're like, okay, that's fine. But I've never used a Ouija board, and I was just like, I feel like this is bad. Like this shouldn't be something we should do, but let's try it. Um, now. Uh, although it is legal now, and especially for medicinal purposes, I fully get behind this. But if you're ever doing anything with a Ouija board, please, for those who were there, this was not me, got super high because they thought this was going to be a lot of fun. It was not. <laughs> it was not fun. So they lit candles. They're sitting there. They're waiting for us to figure out, you know, how they're going to do this. So two people sit at the board. You have to, like, there's all this etiquette that you have to, where you have to speak to the dead, basically, and you have to kind of introduce yourself and say, are you comfortable talking to us? And only one person really talks. The other person just sits there putting their fingers over top of the piece, and you just got to wait to see what happens. Anyway, nothing's happening for a while, so it feels like it's a dud. Well, I was like, you know, the girl whose voice you think it sounds like, she's here. Why doesn't she do it? And I'll be the one to ask the questions. So we sit there, and again, this is in Westchester, and uh, she puts her fingers on the board. I put mine on there too. And instantly she just starts crying. She's like, just tears down her face. And I'm like, are you cool? Can we do this? And she's like, I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine. I have no idea what's happening. I have no idea what's happening. I just can't stop crying. I can't stop crying. And so I was like, okay, well, do you want to, <clears throat> for you who's here, do you want to talk to us? And it goes immediately right over to yes. And I was like, that's weird. That's very strange. And I could tell you, honestly, it just moved. I don't, whatever. So I said, um, so what is it that you're, what is it that, that, that you're looking for? Like, what is it that you want? And it's spelled out F-R-E-N-D, which is very cute. I was like, well, it can't spell, but that's very nice. And I said, um, well, how, how old are you? And she goes, it goes to three, and then it goes to three again. I said, are you 33? And it goes to no, and I was like, she does it again, 36. I was like, you 36, no. And then it goes to nine, and it just hangs there. I said, are you nine years old? And it goes to yes. I said, okay. Now, there's one question you're not supposed to ask when you do Ouija board stuff, so far as I understand. And it's, you're not supposed to ask, do you like the people who live here? Now, these people that we were doing this with irritated me so much that I was like, hey, do you like the people who live here? 
And it goes to yes. Yeah, so like you know, it wasn't like poltergeist style. Like things went up in flames and a hand comes out or like a clown attacked anybody. It was fine. But then I asked, well, what's your name? And it spelled out Rose, R O S E. And I said, well, what's wrong? Because it sounds like you've been upset and the thing flew off the board. And then it comes back on. I like I put it back on. I was like, do you want to keep talking? No, goodbye. And then it was done. Um, they looked in the records and there was at one point a young girl named Rose who lived in that house. Moral of the story is Ouija boards are totally screwed up and they, I don't know what, I think it was, it's Hasbro? Like who the hell made that thing? Let's do this one. Somebody who's seen the light, it's cold and it's a broken hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
For your faith is strong, but you need to prove. You saw her bidding on the roof. I already sang these lyrics about three minutes ago. It's not a cry in the marble arch. Love is not some victory march. It's a chord and it's a broken hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Thank you. All right, so I think for fun, you guys want me to make up a song? Because that's always fun. What's up? Did you find him? Yeah, he's got it. He's online. So oh my God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's it. Those are the words that I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lauren. <laughs> Looking out for me. Probably put my glasses on. Not like I need to look at these or anything. This is just in case. I was a really wordy fellow back then. A lot of words. This is why I do instrumentals now. <laughs> Jesus. Oh God, there's a weird chord in here too. I remember now. Oh crap. <laughs> Streets alive with freaks and gold. But it's best if they be left alone. Cause the closer they come, they throw that weight on you. And that makes the stone. Just as we scrounge for more to throw. She built her head to the night time sky Caught a moment with the moon It's like a gun in my hand These words written by men We're moved by fear Because we don't understand And even cowardice aside In the dark of the night You'd never guess whose hand that you hold from the one that you oppose now. Streets are so wet. The streets are lined with freaks and dope. The streets are soaked in blood and shame. Oh, oh. But they only have themselves to blame. Because there is no greater sin that is made than a man who loves the same. The harboring disease. And a sinful soul And I'm the one who's telling you Because when he comes to call my friend You better know which way to choose You better know it It's like a gun in my hand These words written by man Were moved by fear Because we don't understand In the 
dark of the night You'd never guess whose hand that you hold From the one that you oppose now oh, 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 oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I see it so black and white Choosing our sides just to sleep sound at night. So be patient, have faith, and don't lose your way. They'll thank us someday. You thank me someday. Aligned with freaks and fools. Whoa, whoa. But don't forget that golden rule. Give them love and your sympathy because they'll never make it through. No, they won't. They'll never make it. Oh, it's like a gun in my hand. These words written by man, we're moved by fear because we. In the dark of the night, you'd never guess whose hand you hold from the one that you oppose now. That song is called The Minder. It's about, uh, in some uh, denominations, cults, things like that, they may send somebody um, with you to remind you of what your values are and what your um, beliefs are, just in case you forgot when you go to meet up with your friends. They're just like, hey, how's that new cult thing going? And you're just like, um, help? They're just like, no, 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 not help. Everything is good. She's like, yes, everything is good. The leader says everything is good, according to my minder. So. <laughs> the leader bean. Okay, here we go. Let's go way back. This album is 25 years old. It's early in the morning, rising to the street. Light me up that cigarette, and I'll strap shoes on my feet. Got to find a reason, a reason things went wrong. I got to find a reason why my money's all gone. Well, I got a Dalmatian. I can still get high. I can play the guitar like a mother. F and right. Let's see if I can do it. But life is too short, so love to one you got Cause you might get run over or you might get shot Never stop, stop, you got to get it off my chest Never have to battle with my bulletproof vest Take a small example, take a tip to dip from me Take up all your money, give it all Charity love is what I got, it's within my reach The sublime start comes straight from Long Beach Right far back to you, you finally get what you deserve Try and test that, you finally get served Love's what I got, don't start a riot you feel it when the dance gets hot, hot Loving is what I got I said remember that Loving is what I got I said remember that But I don't cry when my dog runs away I don't get angry at the bills I have to pay I don't get angry when my mom smokes pot Hits the bottle and goes right through the rock Effing and fighting, it's all the same To live with Louis Dog's the only way to stay sane Let my loving, let my loving come back to me Loving is 
what I got. I said, I remember that loving is what I got. I said, I remember that loving is what I got. I said, I remember that loving is what I got. I got. The animal song? I could try it. We'll try it. Let's try. Oh my gosh. What's up? Listen, I'll tell you what. Go home, go home and get online and then send your request online. And then I'll, and then I'll do it. Um, I think, you know, it's funny because what's cool about this song, because I'll try it, whatever. Um, this is, I feel like this is always one of the first songs on guitar that you learn how to play. Um, I didn't, which is why I'm not the greatest guitarist in the world. <laughs> but I'm going to try it. We'll see. Um, In New Orleans, they call the rising sun. It's been the ruin of many poor boys, and God, I know, I'm sure. A baker, she sold my new blue jeans. My father was a gambling man way down in New Orleans. Now. is when he's on the drum Oh mother let your children not to do what I've done speed your life in that misery in the house I got one foot on the platform and the other foot on a train and I'm going back to New Orleans to wear that ball and chain
Thank you for the suggestion. Um, I got a few more for you guys. I think what time? 9.15. We have to go to bed, so I'll do like two more, I think. What's up, Mama? Oh, okay. What do you want to hear? Okay. Tidal waves or oysters? I'll do tidal waves. Are there more coming in? This is no longer your show. I know, seriously. But actually, if I'm being honest, this is great, because I don't want to have to come up with a set list anyway. But I also don't know half these songs. Um... <laughs> well, you're fooling us because you're doing an amazing job. Oh, man. Thank you so much. I really want to do, I really do want to do some Bublé, but I can't, I don't think. I don't think I can. Just stubbing my do yet, right? <laughs> no. We could do Michael McDonald. <laughs> we totally do Michael McDonald. Uh, what's a good one? Van Morrison, Michael McDonald. I know. I could do some Van Morrison. Um, I keep forgetting. Any Not in love anymore. <laughs> From Nirvana. <laughs> could do Nirvana. Rain and Night. Rain and Night. <laughs> How would I do? Um, I'll do my mom's requesting one of my old ones because that was when I had less edge. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. You know what I was thinking about today? I, let's see if I can remember this one, because I, this one I haven't played forever. I was singing it. Uh, like, I, if I could skip down the road, I would have skipped down the road singing it. But I didn't skip, because my foot still hurts. <laughs> this is really funny. You know when I was singing this myself, too? I kept thinking, how? No, I kept thinking of Iris. <laughs> it's like, man, I wish I wrote Iris. <laughs> That's what I wish. No, it's, it's like, you know, I'll play this one, then I'll play Tidal Waves. Because it's interesting writing songs when I was like 16, 17 years old, and I'm 36, and it's like the, the perspective has obviously changed for me, but some things still kind of feel poignant. This song is actually about, because I thought I was super smart. I read The Origin of Species by Darwin, which is really stupid. There's no reason to read that book. It's really big, and it's just basically like, well, I mean, we've come a long way, you know? It's like, if I want to learn about science, I'm not going to read about Lewis and Clark's, like, proctology machines. I'd rather not, because it's gruesome and horrible. Um, I'd rather know what they're doing now. <laughs> um, anyway, I read that book, and I was just like, I'm going to write a book about the origin of species. So that's what this is, and man, does it not feel like super Darwin times right now, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, so this is dedicated to humanity. <laughs> Much too much, an obsession far too great. Long to be a better man, but this world's too hard to take. With everything considered, man, we all are on our own. It's the origin of species, it's the love we'll never know. It's the origin of species, it's that love we'll never know. It's right versus wrong. An objective point of view Suffocated now by bias Though there's nothing left to prove With everything considered Man, we all are on our own It's the origin of species It's the love we'll never know It's the origin of species It's that love we'll never know So here comes the sun To kill the night Do all you can to stay alive. So much too much, an obsession far too great. Long to be a better man, but this world's too hard to take. With everything considered, man, we all are wrong, are wrong. It's the origin of species, it's the love we'll never know. It's the origin of species, it's the love we'll never know. It's the origin of species, and it's the love we'll never know. Mm. 
Thank you. I'm going to do one more for you guys. Actually, let's do just for fun. I'll do one and a half more. One and a half more. Um, so for this last one, uh, let's make up a song, and then I'll go into one more. When I say make up a song for fun, usually because when I would go out and play songs, just because I'm, I can tend to be super pretentious sometimes. I'm like, oh, I get tired of playing my own music. Let's do something new. I like my songs. They're cool. But let's do something new, something fresh, something hip. Yeah, like they're like Mad Libs, basically. I mean, I'm not singing and then going, okay, what are we putting in? What's the adjective? But kind of, because what we're going to do is I want three things, and I'll just try to make up a song on the spot. We'll see how it goes. Because the best part is if it sucks, it's funny. And if it's good, that's not going to happen. It usually sucks. So give me three things. They can, and they don't need to be related at all. Um, what do we got? Don't all shout out at once. A bicycle. Bicycle. Tire rod. What'd you say? I don't know. A tire rod? Yeah. Holy crap. I've never heard that one. There That's really go. good. That's a good one. All right, bicycle, tire rod. Barney. Barney. Sprinkler. Mom, you came in too late. I already got Barney. <laughs> Barney, a tire rod. And a bicycle. Okay. I do this to myself. This is what it is to be a songwriter, you know? You really, you know, I like the pain. It makes for good material. So without further ado, let's sing the song about Barney. Strolling through this brand new world No, I'm not talking about the USA Only three letters you need to know Before I go away I'm talking about PBS Street Riding on my bicycle and waving to everyone I meet There's a guy living in a trash can that's weird can anybody see that elephant over there? I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Man, I feel so, oh, so. And as I'm going on my way, finding Mr. McFeely, and he's doling out some dreams. It's a mail for the children, and there's Daniel. Until he finally gives a shout Because literally that's a tiger wearing clothes It doesn't make much sense And then there's a bird over there Who's ten feet taller than the fence And as I continue to make my way I think it's not going to get any weirder today But then my tire pops <laughs> And I was stranded on the side of the road I said, what am I gonna do now? Then this big purple 
dinosaur came to help me now. Oh, here we go. And he handed me a tire rod. I said, where did you get that tire rod? Oh, I got it from the back of my Nissan Altima. And I said, this begs a lot more questions, like, why do you have a Nissan Altima for the safety features? I would understand that those are probably very good. And the air conditioning solid. I know that that's probably very good too. But seriously, where am I right now? Oh, don't worry about it, because I love you. You love me. We, I'm sorry, I'm on the phone with AAA. Can you just hold on one second? Stop saying, I know, yeah, that is a dinosaur singing in the background, sir. I, I, I know, I can't get him to stop. This is very, very strange. Yes, now everybody's looking. I, that guy in the, do you know the guy in the trash can? I do, it's the Oscar. That's very strange. It is. <laughs> That's it. We did a good job. <laughs> All right. Well, this is going to be my last song. Uh, thank you guys very much. I would ask, uh, if you can on your way out, if you got a couple spare bills, throw them in the donation thing in the back of the Kelly Center because they do great work. They've got great artists. They support people like myself and like Peaks. Um, I know they've got Burst Fest coming up, which will be amazing. For all of you who are tuning in, who are just throwing so many curveballs at me, thank you so much. Um, love you all. If you can donate too, that would be great. Half the proceeds, half the net proceeds will go to um, St. Jude's. So again, thank you for spending your Saturday with us. Peaks, great work, awesome set. Um, and thank you all very much for the rest of your summer.
dress that we wear doesn't matter at all unless we kick out our feet and perhaps my salvation's to know that I'm incomplete so here's the note all the note that comes explaining why want it out and it reads in small print I'm much too tired to think anymore no so where do we go from here now so where where do we go where do we go from here now 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 no so Thank you very much, everybody. Have a great night. Thank you so much. Matt Duke, everyone. That was beautiful. So great. Well, thank you to tonight's performers, Matt Duke and Peaks, a.k.a. Pammy Cobalt. <laughs> You can watch re replays of this wonderful show on our Facebook and YouTube pages. Also, for donations, you can use Venmo at Kelly for Music under the Business tab. And for PayPal or credit card, go to kellycenter.org and click Contribute. Upcoming Kelly Center events this Wednesday, the John Hoey Orchestra with Big Band Jazz, Another outdoor concert in the park with the Tone Benders with Wayne Davis in Murwood Park. And on September 11th, Haverford First Fest Music Festival on two stages, indoors and outdoors. And you can see peaks at that one as well. For info on all upcoming shows and events, go to kellycenter.org and visit the event calendar. A special thanks to our sound and video techs, Chris Klein and Katie Yoon. They do an amazing job. Of course, our house volunteer, JJ, back there serving up the drinks. Give him a round of applause. And on behalf of Tom and Sherry Kelly and Paul and Susan Kelly, thank you for joining us and thank you for your contributions. From the Kelly Center for Music, Arts, and Community in Havertown, Pennsylvania, I'm Amanda. Stay safe. Play it forward, and good night. Thank you.